Hello my dear guardians i hope you all are fine and enjoying a very safe and sound health in this tutorial we will see very basic and fundamental concepts of neoplasia so learning outcomes of today's topic will be tumor neoplasia cancer malignant benign etc then we will understand nomenclature of these terms that why and how we name them so along with basic classification to remember about neoplasia we will discuss differences between malignant and benign tumor along with some basic terms like mixed tumors teratomas hematomas and choristoma before we start about neoplasia definition let's discuss five basic cardinal signs about inflammation tumor literally means any swelling this was first described by celsus I hope you all know acute inflammation has five signs which are rubor or redness scalar increased heat tumor or swelling dolor or pain and functional lesa which means loss of function Now let's come towards definition of neoplasia it's really very difficult to define neoplasia and most authentic definition was given by Rupert Allen Willis which was an Australian pathologist who described neoplasia as abnormal mass tissue the growth of which exceeds and is uncoordinated with normal tissue and it persists even after cessation of causative stimuli which has evoked that change This definition was given in pre-molecular era so after knowledge of molecular genetics and molecular techniques neoplasia can now be defined as disorder of cell growth which is triggered by a series of mutations of single cell and its clonal progeny so this is most simple but authentic definition of neoplasia in modern era All tumors have two basic components one is neoplastic cells and other is reactive stroma the neoplastic cell is that which constitute of tumor parenchyma while reactive stroma is constitute on connective tissue blood vessels and cells of immune system and these cells can be of innate or adaptive immune system the classification and biological behavior of tumor depends upon neoplastic cells while growth and spread depends upon stroma the point we need to remember here is amount of neoplastic cells and stroma varies from tumor to tumor in some tumors neoplastic cells are dominant so these tumors will have very fleshy mass in appearance whereas some tumors have dominant stroma cells So we know neoplasia is a series of genetic events so it must start from subcellular level and gives rise to abnormal growth neoplasia word is mixture of greek and english word and literally meanings are new growth as we said before so abnormal growth or new growth means excessive which is proliferation it is unregulated so it is it does not come under any hormonal regulation and it is autonomous so it does not require any stimulus to start or grow now we will come towards the classification of neoplasia as it has a significance in clinical parts so most important way of classification is its clinical behavior so according to clinical behavior neoplasms are classified in two major groups one is benign tumor or benign neoplasms term neoplasm and tumor can be used interchangeably the other group is malignant tumor or malignant neoplasm so this question can be asked from the doctors that which type of tumor is referred as cancer so malignant tumor or malignant neoplasm is the answer and cancer word is derived from crab maybe due to morphological spread of cancer so Now we will see some behaviors of benign and malignant tumors one by one. So first of all we will talk about benign tumors that are innocent which means they generally are not capable of invading and they cannot destroy the organs either primary organ or adjacent organ. They do not destroy tissues and cannot produce distant metastases or distant spread. Also they tend to be localized and relatively slow growing. 
However, this doesn't mean that benign tumors always have very minimal clinical effects. Some of them can cause very serious clinical manifestations, for example tumors in the brain. Because skull is very restrictive and very hard cavity and tumor in the brain can tend to arise to lymphatics and compressions of vital structures and can eventually cause death uh, as a result. Anyways, let's come to malignant tumor which tends to behave in very much worst fashion. So we can say they are not innocent because they have potential to cause serious diseases and death. They do invade into organ cells as well as potentially to adjacent organs. They can have destructive growth patterns so they can of course spread. They can spread into the lymphatics and end up into regional lymph nodes. They can spread into the blood vessels which can tend to distant metastasis for example in the liver, in the brain and in the lungs. And they can spread within the body cavity which is called Transcelomic spread. Now, having a look at the behavior of benign versus malignant tumor, let's have a very brief and quick look at how we name tumors. Tumors are named according to the types of tissues they arise from. So, we can name them from epithelial tumors, mesenchymal tumors, or soft tissue tumors, or bone tumors, and third one are hematolymphoid tumors so tumors are named according to two reasons for your ease i have mentioned origination of tissues with black color benign tumor with blue color and malignant tumor with the red color now let's see epithelial tumors first in benign epithelial tumors they have word oma o m a s suffix so it is tissue type plus oma so for example Gland forming tumor is adenoma and if it is squamous tumor which sometimes we have so we have them as papilloma oma refers to benign so if it's epithelial malignant or epithelial malignancy it will have word carcinoma as suffix so gland forming malignant tumor will be called as adenocarcinoma and likewise for squamous cell malignant tumor as squamous cell carcinoma i hope it will be very easy to understand in other two types of tissues as we can see if it is made up of mesenchymal cells so in benign form it will have oma as suffix so fatty tissues benign tumors in mesenchymal tissues is lipoma and chondroma as cartilage forming mesenchymal tissue tumors and in mesenchymal uh, malignant tumor they have suffix sarcoma so if it is in bone forming malignant tumor they named as osteosarcoma and malignant counterpart uh, to fatty tissues will be liposarcoma and for cartilage forming malignant tumor it will be chondrosarcoma. Now for hematolymphoid tumors there are generally no benign tumor so we have lymphoma and leukemia unfortunately like all nomenclatures this nomenclature also has some exceptions like some tumors sound like benign by having oma as suffix but they are malignant like hepatoma which is malignant tumor for liver cells and correct name can be hepatocellular carcinoma likewise melanoma are malignant instead of having suffix oma and they are malignant tumors arising from melanocytes so next part of tutorial is some gross differences between benign and malignant tumors if we talk about boundaries then benign tumors have encapsulated or well circumscribed boundaries while malignant tumors have irregular and poorly circumscribed boundary if we talk about surrounding tissues then benign tumors have often compressed surrounding tissues and malignant tumors usually invaded the surrounding tissues if we talk about size then benign tumors are usually small while malignant tumors have oftenly large in size but these are exceptions of any rule sometimes benign tumors are very large while malignant tumors can be very small in size next feature is secondary changes in benign tumor secondary changes are very often like uh, hemorrhage necrosis 
or degeneration while it is very common in malignant tumors as compared to benign tumors now we will see some terminologies in this tutorial first of all we will see mixed tumors these are the tumors where single neoplastic cell can differentiate into different types of cells for example pleomorphic adenoma of salivary glands this type of tumor has epithelial component as well as myxoid or mixed stroma but what is important here in both epithelial and myxoid stroma are derived from single clone which is capable of producing both types of cells so these tumors are known as mixed tumors another terminology is teratoma which contains mature or immature cells which are derived from more than one germ cell layer and we all know that there are three basic germ layers so ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm all are found in teratomas actually teratoma word is derived from greek word teras which means monster these tumors arise from totipotential germ layers which means it can be in ovary testes or embryonic crust in midline next one is hematoma which are basically benign masses of tissues where characteristic features is disorganized cells but contain cells which are indigenous involved site which means they have elements which are normally found at that site most common examples are hematomas in lungs and heart and breast the last word is choristoma which is heterotrophic crust of cells which means excess of normal tissues in abnormal location for example you can see small masses of pancreatic tissues appearing as small masses and it can be found in some mucus of uh, stomach and some mucus of intestine more commonly in duodenum and we call them as uh, choristoma so this was all about tumor neoplasia malignant and benign their nomenclature classification some basic differences mixed tumors teratomas hematomas and choristoma so if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe like comment and share with your friends so see you in the next video thank you